Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video let's read the text Inanna and the God of Wisdom. In this video I'm going to read you all the text, it's pretty long and in the next video we're going to speak about the meaning of the text. Inanna placed the Zbugura, the crown of the step, on her head. She went to the sheepfold to the shepherd. She leaned back against the apple tree. When she leaned against the apple tree, her vulva was wondrous to behold. Rejoicing at her wondrous vulva, the young woman Inanna applauded herself. She said, I, the queen of heaven, shall visit the god of wisdom. I shall go to Abzu, the sacred place in Eridu. I shall honor Enki, the god of wisdom, in Eridu. I shall utter a prayer to Enki in the deep, sweet waters. Inanna set out by herself. When she was within a short distance of the Abzu, he whose ears are wide open, he who knows the me, the holy laws of heaven and earth, he who knows the heart of the gods, Enki, the god of wisdom, who knows all things, called to his servant, Izimud. Come, my Sukal. The young woman is about to enter the Abzu. When Inanna enters the holy shrine, give her butter cake to eat, pour cold water to refresh her heart, offer her beer before the statue of the lion, treat her like an equal. Greet Inanna at the holy table, the table of heaven. Izimud heeded Enki's words. When Inanna entered the Abzu, he gave her butter cake to eat, he poured cold water to her to drink, he offered her beer before the statue of the lion, he treated her respectfully, he greeted Inanna at the holy table, the table of heaven. Enki and Inanna drank beer together, they drank more beer together, they drank more and more beer together, with their bronze vessels filled to overflowing, with the vessels of Urash, mother of the earth. They toasted each other. They challenged each other. Enki, swaying with drink, toasted Inanna. In the name of my power, in the name of my holy shrine, to my daughter Inanna, I shall give the high priesthood, godship, the noble, enduring crown, the throne of kingship. Inanna replied, I take them. Enki raised his cup and toasted Inanna a second time. In the name of my power, in the name of my holy shrine, to my daughter Inanna, I shall give truth. Descend into the underworld, ascend from the underworld, the art of lovemaking, the kissing of the phallus. Inanna replied, I take them. Enki raised his cup and toasted Inanna a third time. In the name of my power, in the name of my holy shrine, to my daughter Inanna, I shall give the holy priestess of heaven, the setting up of lamentations, the rejoicing of the heart, the giving of judgments, the making of decisions. Inanna replied, I take them. Fourteen times Enki raised his cup to Inanna. Fourteen times he offered his daughter five me, six me, seven me, Fourteen times Inanna accepted the holy me. Then Inanna, standing before her father, acknowledged the me Enki had given to her. My father has given me the me. He gave me the high priesthood. He gave me godship. He gave me the noble enduring crown. He gave me the throne of kingship. He gave me the noble skipper. He gave me the staff. He gave me the holy measuring rod and line. He gave me the high throne. He gave me shepherdship. He gave me kingship. He gave me the princess priestess. He gave me the divine queen priestess. He gave me the incantation priest. He gave me the noble priest. He gave me the libations priest. He gave me truth. He gave me descent into the underworld. He gave me ascent from the underworld. He gave me the kurgara. He gave me the dagger and sword. He gave me the black garment. He 
He gave me the colorful garment. He gave me the loosing of the hair. He gave me the binding of the hair. He gave me the standard. He gave me the quiver. He gave me the art of lovemaking. He gave me the kissing of the phallus. He gave me the art of prostitution. He gave me the art of speeding. He gave me the art of forthright speech. He gave me the art of slanderous speech. He gave me the art of adorning speech. He gave me the cult prostitute. He gave me the holy tavern. He gave me the holy shrine. He gave me the holy priestess of heaven. He gave me the resounding musical instrument. He gave me the art of song. He gave me the art of the elder. He gave me the art of the hero. He gave me the art of power. He gave me the art of treachery. He gave me the art of straightforwardness. He gave me the plundering of cities. He gave me the setting up of limitations. He gave me the rejoicing of the heart. He gave me deceit. He gave me the rebellious land. He gave me the art of kindness. He gave me travel. He gave me the secure dwelling place. He gave me the craft of the woodworker. He gave me the craft of the copper worker. He gave me the craft of the scribe. He gave me the craft of the smith. He gave me the craft of the leather maker. He gave me the craft of the fuller. He gave me the craft of the builder. He gave me the craft of the reed worker. He gave me the perceptive ear. He gave me the power of attention. He gave me the holy purification rites. He gave me the feeding pen. He gave me the heaping up of hot coals. He gave me the sheepfold. He gave me fear. He gave me consternation. He gave me dismay. He gave me the bitter tooth lion. He gave me the kindling of fire. He gave me the putting out of fire. He gave me the weary arm. He gave me the assembled family. He gave me procreation. He gave me the kindling of strife. He gave me counseling. He gave me heart soothing. He gave me the giving of judgments. He gave me the making of decisions. Still reeling with drink, Enki spoke to his servant Izimud. My Sukal, Izimud, the young woman is about to leave for Uruk. It is my wish that she reach her city safely. Inanna gathered all the me. The me were placed on the boat of heaven. The boat of heaven with the holy me was pushed off from the quay. When the beer had gone out from the one who had drank beer, when the beer had gone out from Father Enki, when the beer had gone out from the great God of Wisdom, Enki looked about the Abzu. The eyes of the king of the Abzu searched Eridu. King Enki looked about Eridu and called to his servant Izimud, saying, My Sukal Izimud, my king Enki, I stand to serve you. The high priesthood, Godship, the noble enduring crown, where are they? My king has given them to his daughter. The art of the hero, the art of power, treachery, deceit, where are they? My king has given them to his daughter. The perceptive ear, the power of attention, the making of decisions, where are they? My king has given them to his daughter. Fourteen times Enki questioned his servant Izimud. Fourteen times Izimud answered, saying, My king has given them to his daughter. My king has given all the me to his daughter Inanna. Then Enki spoke, saying, Izimud, the boat of heaven with the holy me, where is it now? The boat of heaven is one quay away from Eridu. Go, take the Enkum creatures. Let them bring the boat of heaven back to Eridu. Izimud spoke to Inanna. My queen, your father has sent me to you. Your father's words are words of state. They may not be disobeyed. Inanna answered, What has my father said? What has Enki added? What are his words of state that may not be disobeyed? Easy mood spoke. My king has said, Let Inanna proceed to Uruk. Bring the boat of heaven with the holy me back to Eridu. Inanna cried, My father has changed his word to me. He has violated his pledge, broken his promise. Deceitfully my father spoke to me. Deceitfully he cried, In the name of my power, in the name of my holy shrine, deceitfully he sent you to me. 
Scarcely had Inanna spoken these words when the wild-haired Enkum creatures seized the boat of heaven. Inanna called to her servant Ninshubur, saying, Come, Ninshubur, once you were queen of the east, now you are the faithful servant of the holy shrine of Uruk. Water has not touched your hand, water has not touched your foot. My Sukal, who gives me wise advice, my warrior, who fights by my side, save the boat of heaven with the holy me. Ninshubur sliced the air with her hand. She uttered an earth-shattering cry. The Enkum creatures were sent hurtling back to Eridu. Then Enki called to his servant Izimud a second time, saying, My Sukal Izimud, my king Enki, I stand to serve you. Where is the boat of heaven now? It is two ways away from Eridu. Go, take the fifty Uru giants. Let them carry off the boat of heaven. The fifty flying Uru giants seized the boat of heaven. But Ninshubur rescued the boat for Inanna. Enki called to his servant Izimud a third time, saying, My Sukal Izimud, my king Enki, I stand to serve you. Where is the boat of heaven now? It has just arrived at Dulma. Quickly, take the fifty Labama monsters. Let them carry off the boat of heaven. The fifty Labama sea monsters seized the boat of heaven. But Ninshubur rescued the boat for Inanna. A fourth time, Enki sent the sound-piercing Kugalgal. A fifth time, Enki sent the Enunun. But each time, Ninshubur rescued the boat for Inanna. Enki called to his servant Izimud a sixth time, saying, My Sukal Izimud, my king Enki, I stand to serve you. Where is the boat of heaven now? It is about to enter Uruk. Quickly, take the watchman of the Iturungul Canal. Let them carry off the boat of heaven. Izimud and the watchman of the Iturungul Canal seized the boat of heaven, but Ninshubur rescued the boat for Inanna. Then Ninshubur spoke to Inanna, My queen, when the boat of heaven enters the Nigula gate of Uruk, let high waters flow in our city, let the deep-going boats sail swiftly through our canals. Inanna answered Ninshubur, On the day the boat of heaven enters the Nigula gate of Uruk, let high water sweep over the streets, let high water flow over the paths, let the old men give counsel, let the old women offer heart soothing, let the young men show the might of their weapons, let the little children laugh and sing, let all of Uruk be festive. Let the high priest greet the boat of heaven with song. Let him utter great prayers. Let the king slaughter oxen and sheep. Let him pour beer out of the cup. Let the drum and tambourine resound. Let the sweet tiggy music be played. Let all the lands proclaim my noble name. Let my people sing my praises. And so it was. On the day the boat of heaven entered the Nigula gate of Uruk, high waters swept over the streets, high water flowed over the paths. The boat of heaven docked at the holy shrine of Uruk, the boat of heaven docked at the holy house of Inanna. Then Enki called to his servant Izimud a seventh time, saying, My Sukal Izimud, my king Enki, I stand to serve you. Where is the boat of heaven now? The boat of heaven is at the white quay. Go, she has aroused wonder there. The queen has aroused wonder at the white quay. Inanna has aroused wonder at the white quay for the boat of heaven. The holy me were being unloaded. As the me which Inanna had received from Enki were unloaded, they were announced and presented to the people of Sumer. Then more me appeared more me than Enki has given Inanna, and these two were announced, and these two were presented to the people of Uruk. Inanna brought the me, she brought the placing of the garment on the ground. She brought allure, she brought the art of women, she brought the perfect execution of the me, she brought the tigi and the lily's drums, she brought the ub, the mezi, and the ala tambourines. Inanna spoke, saying, Where the boat of heaven has docked, that place shall be called the White Quay. 
where the holy me have been presented, that place I shall name the Lapis Lazuli Quay. Then Enki spoke to Inanna, saying, In the name of my power, in the name of my holy shrine, let the me you have taken with you remain in the holy shrine of your city. Let the high priest spend his days at the holy shrine in song. Let the citizens of your city prosper. Let the children of Uruk rejoice. The people of Uruk are allies of the people of Eridu. Let the city of Uruk be restored to its great place.